Now what I need to do now is start pinning up my individual patches. <clears throat> now, if you want to spend the money, you can get some um, iron-on interfacing and just kind of iron-on press your templates on, but I don't think it's really kind of worth paying for that, for this process, because this is, it's throwaway paper anyway, so it's going to be recycled, so it's not a problem. So, I'm going to choose one that's, choose one that's got a bit of pattern on it. Because you can't guarantee you're going to get a nice piece of the pattern on your individual um, shape, but you can try to at least, at least get most of the pattern. And I'm just going to go around and pinch the fabric over the corners. Again, if you're doing um, squares, triangles, or if you're mixing up your shapes, <coughs> you might want to use a slightly different technique for pinning your patches. I find you do corners first, that gets them at least tucked away neatly. And if you want to press these before you sew them, you can, but I find it's really unnecessary because I press them once they're done and that helps everything settle in. <coughs> okay, that's all the corners pinned into place. And now I come along the straight and I pull down this excess fabric so I've got my straight line here. And pin that down. Just go around again. I'm intending to take this out and do it on whilst I'm travelling or things like that. So these are pretty much ideal for that kind of thing. If you only do small sections at a time, so this being a three by three, uh, six by six, I'm going to do three by three patches and then sew them all together at home. And I can do. Um, a 3x3 three three in maybe a couple of hours so it's certainly it's not a really time consuming task so that's my patch done and you need to do as many of those as you've got pins for now I try and do about half a dozen at a time um, I don't add any extra pins to this process so this many pins is enough for doing 3x3 three three blocks. So then, to join these together, you can choose whatever kind of stitch you want to do. But I prefer a blanket stitch, because it, it makes it more solid in the, in, the, in the final piece. Even though with a, um, a quilt you're going to be adding layers and um, quilting on it, I think a decent amount of a strong stitching to start with is a good thing. So, pin two edges together, and I've just got some standard white thread. Um, if you're doing a particular colour, then you might want to use a particular colour for your sewing, but and I've got so many different ones, I'm not going to try and match each individually because that would just take forever. So, I come through from the back about two millimetres from the line, from the top. Back through and the back. The blanket stitch I think looks neater and actually gives it a little ridge when it's finished. So I have completed my 6x6 six six, um, quilt and I've given it a good pressing so all the ridges are nicely kind of reduced and, and the fabric is kind of laid out and stretched out slightly. So I've ended up with um, 29 centimeters in that direction and about 26 in this which is pretty much what I was going for. So <clears throat> now we're going to work on the actual construction of, of the, the piece I'm going to make with this. Um, if you were doing um, an actual quilted blanket you would want your patchwork, your lining or your um, wadding or lining and then the um, whatever your inside fabric would be, your, your plain, you normally plain cotton on the inside of, of quilt, but I'm obviously not doing a simple quilt, because I never do anything simple. So, so what I've done first of all is sorted out my, my lining. 
obviously I don't want wadding, I don't want this to be kind of chunky. So I've just got here um, two layers of this kind of standard thin interface type lining that I use. And I've cut this so it's about two or three millimetres smaller on all sides than the actual quilt. So it gives it a bit of puffiness but not kind of bulky. And so that when I sew round the edge here, that will stay down and the um, lining won't get in the way, essentially. So what I've also done, um, you can probably see better on this one, is just on the very edge pieces, I've just done a single line of running stitch. Now when it comes to actually sewing this on, I'll be using some more blanket stitch, but doing it that way holds all the um, loose edges out of the way. So I've also now cut my... Um, outside inside fabric. Um, so I'm doing a separate lining for this but I want um, the kind of kind of the show fabric to um, to show as it were um, beyond the, um, the quilting. So the idea is to have the patchwork sitting on top of this fabric backed PVC like that and then we fold it up into a bag. Okay, as three minute skills go, that was a bit naff. I didn't really show you that much in the way of detail. So that's what I ended up with. But I didn't I don't think I really explained the the process of quilting, of um patchworking even. So I'm just gonna go over that quickly before the end of the video. Now patchwork is that. It is just the um, sewing together of many patches of different shapes and sizes or the same shape and size to make a patterned cloth. So that is patchwork in its very basic basest form. Um, there are styles of patchwork where you do it on a frame and you actually just sew individual pieces on or you do it like this and make like a sheet of fabric. So that is patchwork. Quilting is where you take that bit of patchwork and then you layer it. So this one is using slightly larger hexagons and I've got here my patch layer, a couple of layers of um, lining and a backing with just some cotton. So this is quilting essentially, it's putting a patchwork layer on top of a thick-ish um, padding. Now this isn't particularly thick because of what it's going to turn into but traditionally you'd use like a wadding which has got a decent amount of depth to it. But then what you do to make patchwork into quilting is a quilting stitch on top. I'm not sure how this is going to come out on camera, but I've picked out the hexagon kind of design in stitching all over the surface. I'll just bring that up to you. I hope that's going to come out. So you can see the stitching here all the way up. Now, depending on what kind of quilting you're doing, you could have very, very small pieces of patchwork and a very large quilting design, which just essentially holds the layers together. Or you could go large pieces and a very intricate quilting design. So it's entirely up to you on what you want to do. I did this because it's nice and simple, it looks good, and it will stand out. So you'll see this in a project coming up uh, next month. So hopefully that has explained the finer points of quilting and patchwork. So I'll see you again.